What's up, man? This is your boy, uh, Yas Chosen One. We are in the book of Jasher. We are on chapter 53. Moving on along in this book of Jasher here, man. Moving on along. All right. Let's see what's going down, man. As the, uh, as our patriarchs are going back to Egypt. To try to uh, get their brother back. And the sons of Jacob rose up and took Benjamin, the whole of his sir presence. And they came and they went and came to Egypt and they stood before Joseph. Genesis 43, 15. And Joseph beheld his brother Benjamin with them and he saluted them. And these men came to Joseph's house. And Joseph commanded the superintendent of his house to give to his brethren to eat. And he did so unto them. Genesis 43, 16. And at noon time, Joseph sent for the man to come before him with Benjamin. And the man told the superintendent of Joseph's house concerning the silver that was returned in their sacks. And he said unto them, It would be well for you, fear not. And he brought their brother Simeon unto them. Genesis 43, verse 18. And Simeon said unto his brother, the Lord of the Egyptians has acted very kindly unto me. He did not keep me from keep me bound, as you saw with your eyes. For when you went out from the city, he let me free and dealt kindly with me in his house. All right. So you see Simeon, which I, you know, which you, you know, Joseph wanted to deal harshly with him, but, but you knew he wasn't going to, you know, be tough with him. And Judah took Benjamin by the hand and they came before Joseph. And, he, and they bowed down to him to the ground, and the men gave the present unto Joseph, and they all sat before him. And Joseph said unto them, Is it well with you? Is it well with your children? Is it well with your aged father? And they said, It is well. And Judah took the record which Jacob had sent and gave it into the hand of Joseph. And Joseph read the letter and, and knew his father's writing. And he wished to weep, and he went into an inner room, and he wept a great weeping, and he wept, and he went out. He just imagine, because remember him and Joseph and uh, Jacob, man, they was they had a good bond with each other, man, and uh, you know Jacob showed a little favoritism toward Joseph, man. So they was always, you know, they was you know they they had a good bond with each other, and he lifted up his eyes and beheld his brother Benjamin, and he said, "Is this your brother, of whom you spoken to me?" And Benjamin approached Joseph. And Joseph placed his hand upon his head, and he said unto him, may, may the Most High be gracious unto thee, my son. And when Joseph saw his brother, <clears throat> the son of his mother, this is his full brother, he again wished to weep, and he entered the chamber, and he wept there, and he washed his face, and went out, and refrained from weeping, and he said, prepare food. So Genesis 40. That was Genesis 43, verse 30. So this is his full blood brother. You know what I'm saying? This half brother this is his brother, man. This is his full blown brother between uh, Jacob and Rachel. His full, his, his full brother. You know, he's like looking his brother right in his eye, man. Looking at him, man. Like this is, man, you know. Prepare food. And Joseph had a cup from which he drank, and it was of silver, beautifully inlaid with onyx stones and bedlium. And Joseph struck the cup in the sight of his brethren whilst they were sitting to eat with him. That's, uh, uh, <laughs> what's that rapper name? Um, Lil John, his little, his little, his little cup. <laughs> a little crunk juice in it. And Joseph said unto the men, I know by this cup that Reuben, the firstborn, Simeon and Levi and Judah, Ishkar and Zebulon are children from one, one mother. Seat yourselves to eat according to your birth. So Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishkar, Zebulon. And he also placed the others according to their births. And he said, I know that this, this, this your youngest brother has no, has no brother. And I, like him, have no brother. He shall therefore sit down to eat with me. This is Genesis 43, 32 through 33. And Benjamin went up before Joseph and sat upon the throne. And the man beheld the acts of Joseph. 
and they were astonished at them. And the men ate and drank at that time with Joseph. And he then gave presents unto them. And Joseph gave one gift unto Benjamin. And Manasseh and Ephraim saw the acts of their father. And they also gave presents unto him. And Oznath gave him one present. And there were five presents in the hand of Benjamin. Oznath, I think, was that, um, is that Joseph's wife, Oznath? I think it is. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's the, that's Pharaoh's daughter. So yeah, that's uh, Joseph's wife. So jo Oznath gave him one of the presents. They were five presents in the hand of Benjamin. And Joseph brought them out wine to drink. And they would and they would not drink. And they said, From the day on which Joseph was lost, we have not drunk wine nor eaten any delicacies. Wow. And Joseph swore unto them, and he pressed them hard, and they drank plentifully with him on that day. And Joseph afterward turned to his brother Benjamin to speak with him. And Benjamin was still sitting upon the throne before Joseph. And Joseph said unto him, Hast thou begotten any children? And he said, Thy servant has ten sons. And these are their names, Bela, Betcha, Ashbal, Gera, Naaman, Aki, Rosh, Mupim, Chupim, and Ord. And I called their names after my brother whom I have not seen. Aww. And he ordered them to bring before him his map of the stars, whereby Joseph knew all the times. And Joseph said unto Benjamin, I have heard that the Hebrews are acquainted with all wisdom. Dost thou know anything of this? And Benjamin said, Thy servant is knowing also in all the wisdom which my father taught me. And Joseph said unto Benjamin, Look now at this instrument and understand where thy brother Joseph is in Egypt, who you said went down to Egypt. And Benjamin beheld that instrument with the map of the stars of heaven. And he was wise and looked therein to know where his brother was. And Benjamin divided the whole land of Egypt into four divisions. And he found that he was sitting upon the throne before him was his brother Joseph. And Benjamin wondered greatly. And when Joseph saw that his brother Benjamin was so much astonished, he said unto Benjamin, What hast thou seen, and why art thou astonished? That's awesome. Oh my God, that's so awesome. And Benjamin said unto Joseph, I can see by this that Joseph, my brother, sitteth here with me upon the throne. And Joseph said unto him, I am Joseph, thy brother. Reveal not this thing unto thy brethren. Behold, I will send thee with them when they go away. And I will command them to be brought back again into the city. And I will take thee away from them. Man, what a cool. That's just cool. Now what Now what I'm. Um, uh, so what would this be? Would, would, this, would this have been astrology? Huh? Would this have been astrology? A map of the stars. Would that be some sort of astrology? It wouldn't be witchcraft, would it? Think about it, man. You always got to challenge yourself. And always got to challenge people, people deem as being witchcraft or stuff like that. You know, because you, you just hear things from people all your life. And you just grow to accept it. And now that you're grown, you know, you just got to think about, okay, is all that really witchcraft or... Is do, do you really have a, a gift? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not trying to conjure up evil spirits or demons. You know? And if they dare their lives and fight for thee, then shall I know that they have repented of what they did unto me. And I will make myself known to them. And if they forsake thee when I take thee, then shall thou remain with me. And I will wrangle with them, and they shall go away, and I will not become known to them. At that time, Joseph commanded his officers to fill their sacks with food, and to put each man's money into his sack. 
and to put the cup in the sack of Benjamin and to give them provision for the robe. And they did so unto them. Genesis 44 verse 1. And on the next day, the men rose up early in the morning and they loaded their asses with their corn and they went forth with Benjamin and they went to the land of Canaan with their brother Benjamin. They had not gone far from Egypt when Joseph commanded him that was set over his house saying, Rise, pursue these men before they get too far from Egypt and say unto them, Why have you stolen my master's cup? Genesis 44 verse 2 through uh, 15. And Joseph's officers rose up, and he reached them, and he spoke unto them all the words of Joseph. And when they heard this thing, they became exceedingly wroth, and they said, He with whom thy master's cup shall be found shall die, and we will also become slaves. And they hastened, and each man brought down his sack from his ass, and they looked in their bags, and the cup was found in Benjamin's bag. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they feel like they just couldn't catch a break, man. They feel like, God, ah, every time we go here, something happens. And they all tore their garments and they returned to the city and they smote Benjamin. And, <laughs> and they smote Benjamin in the road, continually smiting him until they came to the city and they stood before Joseph. Remember, Benjamin is in on this too. And Judah's anger was kindled. And he said, this man has only brought me back to destroy Egypt this day. Wow. And the man came to Joseph's house and they found Joseph sitting upon his throne and all the mighty man standing at his right and left. And Joseph said unto them, what is this act that you have done? That you take away my silver cup and went away. But I know that you took my cup in order to know where thereby and what part of land your brother was. And Judah said, What shall we say to our Lord? What shall we speak and how shall we justify ourselves? The Most High has this day found the iniquity of all thy servants. Therefore has he done this thing to us this day. And Joseph rose up and caught hold of Benjamin and took him from his brethren with violence. And he came to the house and locked the door at them. And Joseph commanded him that was set over his house, that he should say unto them, Thus saith the king, Go in peace to your father. Behold, I have taken the man in whose hand my cup was found. So this was Genesis uh, 44, verse 2 through 17. All right. All right. All right. So we are going to go to a chapter 40 54 on the next video. And uh it's about to go down, man. Cuz uh Sons of Jacob ain't going to be taking this uh this false accusation stuff too much longer man everybody's got a boiling point so it's about to go down yo this is your boy y'all's chosen one man i'll catch you guys on the next video and um shalom